Welcome to Aarti's Education. Today we are going to learn about Chapter Six, Angles. In this video, we are going to know everything about angles, about their components, naming an angle, its vertex, its arms, etc. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Turn towards to the angles. You can see here, they gives us three figures of angles for revision. We learned them in our fourth standard. So we know that this type of figure is called right angle. This type of figure is called an acute angle and this figure is known as an obtuse angle. Now here below that figures they give us some clocks. There are six clocks and they tell us that look at the clocks given below. Write whether the hands make a right angle an acute angle or an obtuse angle in the box below. Here they gives us six clocks and we have to write the angles made by the hands of clocks. Here when we observed the two hands of clocks, the two hands of this clock, we can find there is an Obtuse angle is formed between the two hands of this clock. So we have to write here obtuse angle. Then in next clock we can see there is a acute angle. So just write in the given box a word an acute angle. Now look at the third clock. Here when we observe it we notice that this is a right angle. Look the figure is like this. This figure is known as a right angle. So here also two hands are makes right angles. So right here, right angle. Now, fourth number clock. Here, we can find there is an obtuse angle between two hands. Just right here, obtuse angle. Here also, we can find an obtuse angle. Because this shorthand is between 5 and 6. If you look it and observe it carefully, you can find that there is an obtuse angle here. And in last figure of clock, there is an acute angle. Just right here, acute angle. This is the revision for our angles. Now, we are going to learn about components of angles. Components of angles. There are two components of angles. They are first is arm, arms and the second one is vertex. Now look at the figure here. We can see there is an angle. In this angle, we noticed that it has two lines. Line QR and line QB. And also we can see there is a common point between two lines. It's a 
क्यू सो दीज टू लाइन्स आर नोन एज आर्म्स ऑफ एन एंगल दीज आर द आर्म्स ऑफ एन एंगल एंड दे आर रेज वॉट इज रे अ लाइन विच हाव एन पॉइंट एंड ऑन अनदर साइड इट हैज एरो इन अ सिंपल लैंग्वेज आई टेल यू लाइन विच हैज एन पॉइंट ऑन वन साइड एंड ऑन अनदर साइड इट हैज एन एरो सो दीज आर टू रेज एंड दैट रेज आर कॉल्ड आर्म्स ऑफ द गिवन एंगल Now vertex. What is the vertex? Here we can see Q is the common point of these two lines or these two arms of angle. So Q is the vertex of an angle. Means common point between the arms of an angle is known as vertex. Now we can say that an angle is the figure. which have two rays and they have one common point so here the components of angles are there are two components of angle one is arms and second one is vertex now you know that the rays of the angle or line of the angles are called arms of the angle and the common point between two lines is known as vertex of the angle in simple language you have to remember that when there are two rays joined together with one point that point is the vertex of the angle so how can we define arms two lines which join together to form an angle are called arms of the angle and how can we define the vertex the common point between two lines lines of an angle is known as vertex of the angle here in this figure qp and qr are the arms of the angle qp and qr are the arms of the angles and q is the vertex of angle remember vertex means when two lines are joined together to form an angle that joining point is called vertex and these two lines are called arms of the angle now naming an angle an angle is named by three letters the letter in the middle represents the vertex of the angle here in our figure we give here p q and r these three letters to identify this angle so the name of the angle is p q and r not p r q look it's a p q r always remember that vert the vertex of the angle is in the middle of the name of the given angle so our vertex is q so q must be in the middle so our name for an angle is angle p q r or we can say that angle r q p both ways we can write 
the name of the angle angle p q r or we can write angle r q p here you notice that i make a sign like this this is the sign of angle instead of writing a n g l e angle p q r in short we can use a symbol to write angle p q r like this angle p q r this is the symbol of an angle i hope you will understand it very well i am going to take another example for naming an angle so it's very clear to you look here let's draw another angle Here I draw an angle. I give it to a name. Now the name of the angle is angle L M N. This is what name of the angle. angle l m n or we can write as angle n m l n m l always remember our vertex is in the middle when we write the name of the angle so in both ways we can write the name of angle angle l m n and angle n m l now the vertex of an angle which is the vertex a vertex is called where two lines are joined together to form an angle here these two lines are joined and the name of that point is m so m is the vertex of the angle now we are going to write arms of the angles here these two are arms of the angle ml and nm these are the arms of the angle i hope you will understand it very well this is the introduction for our chapter 6 angle and thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in next video that is problem set 24